Right now, we're going to go to over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and the managing director at Direction because the bottom line is that they got a lot of good new news out here, and Dave's been staying busy. Dave Mazza, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, happy to be back with you. Well, let's talk about, I mean, I, I have these up. You know, we got the single stock futures now. We, I mean, uh, equities, we got Apple, we got Google, we got uh, Microsoft, and we got Tesla, right? Yeah, and Amazon as well. And Amazon, how did I miss that? Where? Oh, there, yeah, exactly, and Amazon, wow, okay. So, you got the kings of the NDX 100, that's for sure, right? So Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, top, top top five stocks. That, exactly. So can you walk us through? Let, let's let's take Amazon, okay? Because so you can walk us through exactly how this works. I'm I'm reading, you know, on on the bear side, it's it's one times, and on the bull side, it's one point five, and that's how they all work, Dave. Right? Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So uh, there's five stocks uh, with ten ETFs. So to your point, the bull fund is one and a half times. The exposure on a daily basis. The bear fund is that one times exposure on a daily basis. So they're structured in an extremely similar way to our index based uh, ETFs like SPXL, SPXS for the S&P 500. But in this case, the underlying exposure, what's being amplified is a single security. And we decided, uh, as we were talking about a moment ago, to first bring them out for the five largest, most liquid securities in, in the NASDAQ, in the S&P 500, and, and even in the world, um, to give uh, traders you know, the opportunity to express their views on a short-term basis at the single security levels. I see. Okay, cool, man. So, and this gets intriguing, too, because the, the, the aspect is, is there's plenty of folks that no doubt don't trade options, absolutely don't trade futures. So this is a nice way that you can, you can get some leverage, because there's plenty of folks that trade a lot of equities but just have not got into a leveraged product so to say do you know what i mean so and in these also dave right i just want to reiterate for all the listeners these are daily investment vehicles well particularly the 150 yeah so how does the one-to-one -one actually wouldn't have to be huh so you really got to think about these to your point as daily investment vehicles okay because we're, we are offering that exposure on a daily basis. Okay. However, I think there's different use cases for the bull fund versus the bear fund. And right. they may even be different use cases than what we see with, you know, the SPXL and the SPXS, for example. Right. So specifically, that one and a half times on a daily basis, that's really, if you want to express a viewpoint on a short-term basis, that Tesla, Amazon, Apple, what have you, is going to be up that day. And you can monitor that position this could be a great tool for you as opposed to going out trying to structure an options trade. Right. Um, you can own it for more than a day, but you have to make that decision that day. This is not a yes. set it and forget it. Right. I want to be explicitly clear about that over the long term right. because, because they're, uh, you're, they're not going to match uh, perfectly in right. Right? And any way, shape, or form, like any leverage universe ETFs. On the bear side, though, uh, at the inverse one X, you're not going to have that the negative compounding that can come into play with higher leverage points. Right. However, you still need to be able to monitor it on a frequent basis. What we're seeing there is a lot of folks have you know long term capital gains in Tesla, long term capital gains in Apple. Right. That you know you're concerned, and Apple's up you know ripping up over four percent today. Sure. So you might not want to be hedging it, but. People were concerned, hey, is this iPhone 14 going to be anything good? Are people going to want it? Can I have right. a better camera? What have you? Maybe you don't want to sell that, and you wanted to hedge that position over a handful of days. Right. AAPD can do that. Um, so kind of two different ways of thinking about these compared to traditional leverage and inverse ETFs. You know, so what, folks, what Dave just went through, this is really cool now because, that, yeah, because it'll be very easy also, like, like, you know, the folks know I have a Bloomberg. So in two seconds, I can hit a couple of buttons as you can. It'll tell us how to do it, right? What's so cool here, Dave, right? I get it, man. So because the bottom line is that you can, you can turn it, well, it. Let me ask you this. Is it a one for one? Like if I had 500 Apple shares, right? And then I would 500 bear shares. Would that be a one for one? Would it would? Well, you'd, you'd have to look at the the the, um, the price, right? Apple's, I think, 161 today. Right. You know, right. the, the um, AAPU, AAPD, somewhere around 25. I don't have my, right. my screen out yes. in front of me. So, but yes, you could structure that again uh, with 
Uh, you don't need calculus on this one. Pretty no, simple math. Exactly. To, to, yeah. I think that's your point. Right. To it get is. that one to it, it, one. Right. Um, which is you, really you got to get into the prices. No, totally. And and then, folks, what does happen? That means you delta neutral, and then that's another decision you make. Say, listen, uh, you know, a big announcement's coming up. I'm not going to make money or lose money. And that's what's really cool about that, folks, is that it's the announcements that. You know, yeah, sometimes they can help you tremendously, but a lot of times they can hurt you tremendously, too. That's, yeah, that's, I can see this, this is going to be, a, this, there's a need for that, man. That, that, is, that is a good setup. Wow. And yeah, then, and the other, the other uh, if I can note one yes. thing uh, as well, is that, you know, and we're seeing a lot of interest in TSLL, which is our bull one and a half times daily Tesla fund. Right. Also, to some extent, TSLS. And the reason why that's the case is, we're in an environment where volatility remains high. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of questions about what the Fed's going to do, inflation, the, China, Ukraine, the list goes on. Tesla has been volatile forever. People are gravitating north because even in times of volatility, you can make money if you're trading oh, yeah. and if you're active. No, no doubt. Well, listen, Dave, we really appreciate the update. Uh, we missed you. We had the holiday. I know. I appreciate you coming back and look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today. Talk to you. Thanks so much. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And congratulations, man. You're working hard. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.